I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to show you my latest acquisition from the antique shop. And three older acquisitions. Kind of give you a little bit of history on them. One of these things is not like the other. It's an old Sesame Street game. And we can play a variation on it here. Over the years, and it has been years that I've been collecting these things, and really this amounts to a collection because three of them serve no useful purpose. I started out wanting to have a Stanley number 78. This was my first attempt at getting one. It had the clamp, but it didn't have the fence. It had the clamp, but it didn't have the fence. And all it had was one beating tool. The 78 is not for beating. Somebody was able to use it because it will hold a beating tool, but it didn't work well. I found it neglected and rusty, sitting on a shelf in an antique shop, and decided it was better off at my place, cleaned up and painted. And so it became cleaned up and painted. And I thought, well, I'll find a way to make a blade. Went through the process of making a blade and decided that maybe it was going to be more work than what I wanted to do. And then I found this one. And I said, well, this one's got a blade. It's not the right blade. It's a blade and it's an older unit. This is a Made in USA, but it's not a number 78. It's a knockoff. Has this extra little pusher here so that you can use it a little bit more efficiently. You can put your thumb on that and push on it and do a little better job. And it, it came with a blade. But the blade is pretty thin. It's uh, kind of flexible and it chatters like the Dickens. It got set aside and I thought, well, maybe someday. Then I came across this one and it has the, the fence. Well, not really. The fence actually came with this one. It had a rod. And a fence. And it all fit together, but it had that crappy blade in it. So I took the fence and the rod put them together on this plane. And then I had an actual Stanley 78. Except they didn't have the depth stop. But most people said that they didn't use the depth stop. At least that's what I told myself. Yesterday I went down to Galesburg and sitting on the shelf with a nice tag above it that said 20% off was a actual Stanley number 78. Now it's a newer one. I'm pretty sure it's not from the 1920s. 
probably 1960s or so. But it has all the little bells and whistles. This one's got a long screw on it. Depth stop, fence, bar, clamp. both screws and the proper blade and an adjustable body. So now I have a number 78, real deal, actual thing. Needs to have the blade sharpened because everything does. This is a Miller's Falls. Has it stamped on the body and on the blade. It has a Craftsman fence on it because this is a Craftsman plane. At least going by the name on the blade, it says Craftsman. Somebody at one point decided that they wanted to have a better handhold. And I can see how if you were holding onto that kind of handle with your fingers, that would get painful. So they filled this side with some kind of uh, body putty or wood putty or something. And this one of course is a no name because it has no name and no blade and no way of knowing anything about it other than it's a number 78 style. Because it has the bull nose on the front of it, that proves it's not a weather stripping plane. I don't know what this screw hole is for. It's got two of them. Might be somebody decided to put a fence on it. Who knows? So that's the story of my quest for a Stanley 78. I've got one, it's full and complete. Got all the pieces and parts and everything seems to work. So three of the four can go. I think I'll list them on eBay because you guys might actually have a use for them out there. And I certainly am not gonna use them very much sitting in the shelf. If you guys have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments below. You know, I read them all. And for all you guys on mobile phones, I'm actually trying cards. Not one to jump onto new things very quickly, but I'm finding that you guys can't click onto the things that I put in here as annotations. So cards let you do that. If you can see your way clear to do it, I even went so far as to offer the opportunity to support the channel. I don't spend a lot of money on things, as you can tell, but I do have expenses. I buy stuff. And the more I buy, the better stuff you get to see. And I seem to have a following of guys who like to see the stuff that I buy. So you can click on the card, or you can just go to my channel and uh, click on support and it'll lead you through the process. Thanks a lot for watching.